Hey guys, it's Danny, host of Danny's Reviews, and today I'm back with my weekly review for this week's episode of The Plague Season 3. This one's going to be for The Plague Season 3, Episode 3, which is called Treated Like a Kid. So, um, back for, of course, my weekly review of The Plague. What do we think about this week's episode of The Plague? I personally thought this was probably another, um, I, I would say this episode is pretty much, I would say, on the same level of awesomeness as uh, around the first episode, second episode, you know, I'd say they're pretty much all equal. I really don't know which one, I, which one's my favorite, second and third, because these episodes all kind of, I don't know, they, they all feel the same and very similar in terms of how much I like it, because I feel like this season has been off to probably the best start of a season of The Plague, and I definitely have to agree, this is probably the best season ever of The Plague, so far from what I've been seeing. Um, of course, you know, there's a lot of questions because we still haven't seen the whole season yet. But I'm really liking this season so far. So this one's called Treated Like a Kid. Um, we pretty much get to see what happened after the end of episode one. But also kind of, which this is probably one of the best aspects of this episode. You pretty much get to see what happens um, with Anthony after the end of episode one. So you finally get to see that. Um, because we did not see Anthony in the last one. So, you get to see what happened after episode one, but you, even still, you get to also see what happened after episode two. So, both of the timelines come together in this episode and makes for kind of a, um, meeting between, uh, Derek and Anthony at, of course, Victor's camp, which we still don't know if his camp has a name or not. We're not really sure, um, or if it's just, you know, his camp or whatever. So, Anyway, let's just talk about the uh, episode. So, we start off, we've got Anthony and Scott in the container again. Uh, that's pretty much right after the end of episode one. You pretty much get the idea that Scott's been in there for two months, he says. He's been in there for two months, and uh, the reason why, he was actually part of them before, which that I, I was kind of shocked about, but he was actually part of their group before. Um, and, of course, we actually find out that he was part of their group for a good bit, um, during most of the time skip, that's who he was probably with, uh, you know, we have to assume, but, um, he's been there in two months, and he's been in there for two months because, uh, I'm sure they would keep him there longer, because apparently they wanted him to kill a little girl, and he, he could, so, um, they put him in there, so, that to me, it's like, yeah, you really just can't do that, so, yeah, that makes sense that uh, they put him in there. So, um, I just, I, I think that's, uh, you know, you're, 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 you're definitely seeing um, some different sides to uh, Scott that you really have never seen before, you know. And I did also like in this episode, and I'm really happy that Scott did say this to Anthony, because Anthony talks about his pregnant wife that got killed, and he said, I didn't know she was pregnant. So, um, pretty much letting him know that had I known she was pregnant, I would not have done that. So, you know, you can definitely, I'm happy that was said because I was waiting for something like that. I would definitely still say that he was um, a, and I would still say he is kind of a villain, but I don't mind him this season because he's not a threat to the group. As long as he's not a threat, I mean, he ain't that bad, really. Um, it's just when he was a threat to the group, of course he's going to be a hated character. But I actually really do like now that he's not really a threat anymore. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that's where they're heading with this. That he's not a threat and that they actually could trust him if, let's say, he gets rescued or something by, um, you know, let's say, because I don't know the rest of the episodes. I don't know what's going to happen. But we could see maybe John and the others try to actually go in the camp, try to find the camp and try to attack it to get Anthony back. That'd be a cool storyline if that's where they're going, if that's what, where this is going, um, in like the mid-season finale or just something cool like that. Um, and them actually rescue Scott, uh, Scott too. I think that would be really interesting. Um, but again, I'm not too sure. So um, yeah, I just, I really like it. I really like their conversation. I really thought it was, uh, it was pretty cool. So we get that. So, of course, then you get Derek who comes in. He meets Victor, who is the leader of the group. Um, I wasn't too sure there in the episode uh, two if it was Diego the leader or if it was Victor. Because I just, I wasn't too sure. Um, but either way, really cool. So, we get the idea that Diego is the right-hand man, uh, which I did like as well. And, he, you know, Victor's like, who's the kid? You know, um, he's like, this is uh, Anthony's son. He's like, you want to see your father? And, and then he's like, I thought I wasn't allowed to. Hey, I'm in charge here. You know, you can, you can see your dad. So, he brings Anthony out, keeps Scott in, but he brings Anthony out. 
And he pretty much tells Anthony that he is not on his side and he doesn't want to be treated like a kid anymore. And he's like, don't call me son and type of deal. And um, you even get Victor in this episode, who is our villain, but he's kind of like, geez, this, 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 you know, I don't see this much, you know. Um, so that's the reaction I got from what Victor uh, was kind of reacting. So anyway, that's, that, that was uh, that. And of course, then you get the, the moment of this episode, the moment, you know, I feel like. When um, Anthony actually, you know, talks to Victor and he's like, you know, they're not your group anymore. And they're talking back and forth. And right away, um, not too long after, he kind of distracts him and then punches Victor, runs for it. And then Victor's trying to shoot at him, um, which I do like this dynamic because he's running. And then you get, instead of Victor putting a gun to his head, which would make more sense, um, you actually get Derek who helps Victor and points a gun to Anthony's head. And he's like, you know, are you going to do it? You know, are you really going to kill me? He's like, if you, you know, if you're going to kill me, fine, go ahead. But your mom would be disappointed. She would not be proud. Um, and uh, he knocks him out. So, and then the screen goes black. And I'm just like, well, geez, like, man, I mean, I don't really know how to feel about Derek, to be honest. Because, I mean, Anthony's like my favorite character. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that at this point. A Anthony's like my favorite character. But, oh man, I'm, I'm not really liking um, what Derek is doing, especially in this episode. I mean, I I thought, I did in episode two, I was like, okay, he might join the group, but I didn't think he'd point a gun to Anthony's head and actually start doing this stuff, knocking him out and not really caring. Um, and we hear in the description of episode four that he gets taught how to drive. So he's really blending into this group. And yeah, he, he kind of, he kind of, he's that kid that does not want to listen to his father, it seems like. Um, so, um, uh, but there was a scene in the trailer that I am interested in because there was a scene in the trailer of this season where he's actually back at the community and John's like, are you on our side now? You know? Um, so I'm just curious on what the heck's going to happen here, but then, of course, he's knocked out, and then he, boom, he wakes up in the pit with Scott, and they have to fight the plague people. Um, they get three shots each, and, um, you know, they, they all have to count. So we'll have to see what happens, of course, in the uh, next week's episode. Um, but I'm absolutely digging this episode. So um, thoughts on this episode, uh, rating this episode. I really think this episode deserves um, a really... Really, really, really good score because I just, I don't know, I feel like this episode, you get so much um, uh, character development, mainly with Derek. Uh, Derek has pretty, I would say Derek has the most characters, uh, um, moments so far this season. He's the most concentrated character this season, and I don't mind. Um, I just, you know, I'm still shocked on what he's doing, but does he, does, you know, has he fully betrayed, because, I mean, I was talking to another Freak 78, and he was like, yeah, he betrayed his father, so I'm like, bro, that's, 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 that's an interesting story, because here you have his son, which it's like, if Anthony gets out, and he, he goes back to his people, it's like, I don't really think he's gonna want to necessarily attack them fully, because he could end up killing his son during the attack, accidentally, during the fire, and all this stuff, the the battle and all that. So I'm not really sure if Anthony is going to exactly want to attack because his son's going to be there. He doesn't really want to kill his son, obviously. Um, so um, even though it looks like his son really doesn't have a problem killing him. So we'll have to see. Um, you know, I, I, could I go as far as saying uh, we'll see him kill Anthony at the end of the season or something? No, I don't think so. I don't think Anthony's going to die. I just don't see it happening yet. Um, if it's going to happen, I don't see it happening anytime soon. I just, I'm not really sure where this storyline is going. It's really interesting. I'm so excited to see wh where this is going. So it's really exciting. So make sure to write your comments below about what you thought of this episode of The Plague. Again, I'm just so confused right now on what's going on So uh, with uh, Derek. So anyway, really, really awesome episode. Can't wait to see episode four. Um, if you guys want to see some weekly predictions for The Plague, that would be cool. Um, if, if any of you guys actually want to see predictions for the plex, I would love to do predictions for the next episode. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool if we did do that. So, but again, that's up to you guys. So write down below if you want to see some predictions for the plex. If you guys don't, I won't do it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.